Taking a live look at the Tropicana, the famed hotel and casino closing in five days after a 67 year history on the strip. As we've mentioned, it will be demolished to make way for a 3,000 square foot Major League Baseball Stadium home to the Oakland A's. And uh, we know a lot of you have memories at the Trop. And before the doors shut down for good, News 3 has continued to highlight the property that was once known as the Island of Las Vegas. Yeah, and that includes a long running bird show. Kristen Drummond is live outside the Tropicana tonight after speaking with the man who hosted that show. And Kristen, that gig really helped establish his career. It certainly did, Jim and LaToya. I had a chance to speak with Joe Crothwell, also known as the Birdman. He's actually one of our country's most famous bird trainers. He lives here in town, but got his start on the strip right here at the Tropicana. He tells me it's sad to see that these buildings will soon go away. It's like losing a home. Literally for Joe Crathwall with two birds on his arms. This is Sheba here on my on my left. He revisits the Tropicana this week, recalling his first memories of moving from the San Francisco Bay Area to Las Vegas to perform on the property. They put me up in one of the garden suites for the rest of the year. 5124 was my address here at the Tropicana. How long did you work at the Tropicana? Started in 1989 and ran all the way through 2004. Highlighting his birds, starting around the pool with the island bird shows to eventually settling in the hotel's tropics room. Crathwall became known as the Birdman. Personal pictures of his name on the marquee to videos of his performances capture the memories. We not only started performing here, but we started adding in different birds, 10 foot wingspan condor and hawks and falcons and and uh, macaws flying down from the tower roof. And so the show just kept growing and was very, very popular. The big star of the show, Sheba, a now 40 year old battler eagle gifted to him by entertainers Siegfried and Roy. He let her perch on my arm for a few minutes. How many performances did Sheba do here at the Tropicana? Um, we did three shows a day, six days a week, and that adds up to around 10,000 shows over the years. Those shows helping Crathwall build his brand from appearances on late night talk shows. Please welcome Joe Crathwall and his big bird. To training pigeons for magician Lance Burton shows at the former Hacienda and later the Monte Carlo. We had well over 100 pigeons flying in it. And then that got me the job flying pigeons for the Venetian Hotel when they opened. And then that turned into 15 years of flying pigeons in La Reve at the Wynn Hotel. So a lot of my career is based at this property behind me. Grateful for the experiences. And while his first home in town prepares to become rubble. We'll just grit our teeth and, oh, you know, watch it come down. He plans to keep the memories alive, not only in his mind, but also online. Every time I look up at those towers, I see one of my macaws flying down. Those towers like the one here behind me eventually will be coming down. Executives though not saying when demolition will begin, but as you can see here behind me, heavy equipment is already parked in the back of the Tropicana. Now, executives say it's going to take about 90 days for everything to eventually just wind down here at the property. Reporting live from the Las Vegas Strip, I'm Kristen Drummond, News 3. Rich history as you know, and nice to know that the Birdman was a part of all of it. Yeah. Pretty cool story. Thank you so much, Kristen.